What is happening everyone? Welcome to G-Ball Vision. Today we're going to be covering some of my favorite affordable EDC items for your Christmas gift ideas in 2023. Now this will not be a list full of knives. We do have a couple knives to go over, but we have a ton of different gear to cover. A lot of fun stuff. A lot of this is going to be, or all of it is going to be, very affordable items. We have a couple different videos coming on different gift ideas for Christmas and 2023. Different price points and a lot of different stuff going on. This one's going to be a big wide variety. We're kicking it off with the CJRB Riff. Now you can get this at White Mountain Knives for 65 bucks, but if you use code GBALL10, that'll get you 10% off the knife or your entire order, whichever you wanna do. Fantastic price for this button lock. Not only does it have good materials, it's a good price, but this thing is fun as hell. You get RPM9 on the blade steel, modified clip point blade shape deep well fuller and a flipper tab so tons of different ways to open this guy up and you have a nice strong plunge lock from cjrb they do a good job on their locks now this is just an everyday user you're not going to be treating this like a fixed blade my carta handles you do have a two-way reversible deep carry steel pocket clip open construction Nice and strong, comfortable, well built, built, well finished. Coming in under 65 bucks from CJRB. Definitely a great EDC item that is going to be fun to carry around. Next up, you're going to need a pouch, right, to carry some of this stuff in. And this is still one of my longest standing favorite pouches. I have a bunch of them. This is the EMP EDC collaboration with Shadowborn Hanks. You get the pouch, you do get one glow in the dark patch, and you get one of the well-made beads of John's choosing. You get the zipper front end, but you get two slots on the back one that's a little wider than the other you can put a knife in here flashlight you can put pens different pry bars you can set it up a bunch of different ways if you want to you know carry your knife in your pocket and then throw your other gear in this and throw this in your back pocket the zippers are very well done and I've usually put like a small multi-tool in here, like the Gerber dime, uh, a fidget of some sort. You can put cash in there, use it as like a wallet and an EDC item. Now these do come in and out of stock very quickly. He had a drop of them recently. I think they're gone now, but I have to believe there will be more of these coming into stock at EMP EDC's website. You sign up for the newsletter, he'll let you know when they're coming back in stock. I will link the website down below, but I will also link an alternative that's close to this uh, if these do not end up being in stock, you know, before Christmas and time is running out type of a deal. So I'll have an option, but I have to believe these will come back into stock before Christmas. Definitely one of my favorite pouches for an everyday type of deal. Uh, it's minimal, thin profile, love this little thing. And at 35 bucks, very hard to beat the quality and materials. Now, next thing up is it, you're gonna be able to need the right stuff down and have a reliable way to do it. And you can also do it very fun. Uh, this is a bolt action pen from Bastion. They have aluminum, they have titanium, they have a bunch of different materials. This one in particular is the aluminum. I wanted a really lightweight, full-size pen. I do have titanium ones and brass ones, but I wanted an aluminum one because they are so lightweight compared to the titanium or brass or copper, uh, and it's full size. So I, you know, my hand don't get cramped. I use this one a lot at my desk, but I used to use it before that as my everyday pen. It is fun, it's functional, and these usually come in 
Uh, it depends on which one you get, but they're gonna range from like 30 to 60 bucks, maybe a little more if you get titanium and so on. Uh, these take standard refills, G2 refills, I believe. Uh, they're, they're standard refills, and I believe it's G2. Definitely well made from Bastion. I also have a mini one of these, and they're a great EDC type of pen. And just to kind of show that the pen will fit right in this pouch, nice and easy, or you can kind of hide the clip, whichever you want to do. But tons of utility in this pouch, and you can also fit your knife down in there. So definitely a nice little pouch and set right there. Next up is going to be the Titan Survival Bracelet. Titan Survival Survival Bracelet. Uh, it's survivor cord, so you have paracord, you have snare wire, fishing line, uh, wax jute line, good fire starting line in here, 11 feet of paracord here or survivor cord. So that means 11 feet of paracord, snare wire, finishing line, uh, fishing line, uh, the wax jute line. So an awesome piece of gear. These are like 30 bucks, but they're having sales right now with discounts and getting money off your order and all that sort of thing. I have three of these from them, I think. And the reason I like these is because they're not made uh, cheaply. These are made very well, very strong. Like I said, I have three of them. My oldest one is four years old and still looks great. Now the finish is wearing off the bracelet, but that's because I'm a carpenter and it's always banging on stuff and they all look like that now. But depending on your line of work and what you do any given day, uh, that finish will hold up unless you're bashing it off stuff all the time. They do have three different sizes, but within each one of them sizes, it is got three tiers of sizes here. So I think, I'm not sure if I have the biggest one and then it's on the biggest setting, but I know I had trouble with, I think this is the largest one. My wrists are actually, you know, kind of large, I guess. Uh, so the, the good thing about these is they're well made and they're going to fit. A lot of them are cheaply made and way too small. So these are fantastic. Having 11 feet of usable cordage and different cordage on your wrist at all times, that's really hard to beat in my opinion. You know, it's good to always be prepared in my opinion, of course. Now we're going to go to a multi-tool, which this is not going to be really unknown to anyone. The Victorinox Classic SD is a great little multi-tool. Now there's tons of multi-tools out there, guys. I like this one because it's minimal. It has function to it uh, and they are well-priced coming in between 20 and 30 bucks. I love these because they have the scissors, spring-loaded scissors that are nice and sharp. Very hard to be a good pair of scissors. Uh, there's things that a knife just can't cut as well as scissors can. So it's nice to have a good pair of scissors with you at all times. You also get a toothpick there and you get the normal set of tweezers there. You get your pen pen blade here, your drop point blade, nice and thin. Uh, you can put a little edge on that and that will do the job for most things, uh, most everyday things. And then you have a file here with a little mini slotted screwdriver type of deal. And you could use this as kind of like a light duty pry bar or getting 
you know, under something very lightweight or getting in between, you know, like something that has a film or something. You can't get in it with your nail or a sticker or, you know, that sort of thing. This would be good for getting in between some of those thinner items. Uh, this is a SMKW exclusive one. Keychain lanyard there, hook it on your keys or throw it in a pack or pouch. Uh, it's good to have different types of capability, in my opinion. And for 20 to 30 bucks, you get all kinds of different versions and lots of utility. Definitely a nice piece of gear there. Next up is going to be a good microfiber cloth or microfiber hank. In this case, we are using one of my favorite Hank makers in the game, Bobby over at Issuing Stitches. A link is Instagram below. A link is Etsy store below. He has some of the finest prints, some of the best stitching, some of the most fantastic microfiber and variety that you can get between 10 and 15 bucks. He has different sizes, and now he'll be having one that is half this size. Uh, I had a little input on that. I think mini Hanks are where it's at because they keep such a thinner profile. If you have something like this and then fold it into quarters, you are going to have a nice slim and thin and lightweight piece of cloth that is going to be just as capable as these full size ones. Now these still have their place and all that sort of thing. Uh, but I think variety and options are good. You can also use G-Ball 10 at Issuing Stitches on his Etsy store. And that'll get you 10% off your order or your hank. You know, if you order multiples, you'll get 10% off the whole order. Capital G-Ball 10. I'll link all that below and all the codes. Great work. And he's a great dude who has supported the channel uh, for a long time since the start in my opinion pretty much been a huge supporter of the channel and can't thank him enough and he does great work you can talk to anyone who has his hanks he's great to work with great to deal with quick shipping good materials made in pennsylvania right where i am from he's a great dude can't recommend him enough so for the fidgeter in your life or someone who can't sit still or can't stop doing something, they always got to be doing something with their hands, a fidget is a good thing to look at, especially if you want to piss somebody off that's around you, coworkers, family members, kids. Uh, the Fidget Boy sliders, they are also on Etsy. I will have them linked down below. They can be hard to get. Uh, this one is the Game Boy slider, reminiscent of your old school Game Boys. That's one reason why I love it. I grew up with the gray original big Game Boy. Uh, so, you know, that's one of the reasons why I got this. And I heard they were well made with nice, strong magnets. And that is definitely the case. You can do, you know, you can do all the little tricks with uh, this because the magnets are so strong. Some of the, the ones you get, you know, on Amazon or wherever out of the store, usually they're, they're junk and the magnets are junk. These are well made and the magnets are fantastic. Nice and strong audible clicks. These usually range between like 20 and 40 bucks. It really depends on what you're getting, what style, all that sort of thing. There's a bunch of different ones. Like I said, they're hard to get. So if you go over there and there's only like one thing in, in stock, that's because the stuff comes in stock and goes out of stock very quick. So, you know, if you're looking at something and it's there, I would recommend picking it up because the stuff goes quick. Well made, uh, 3D printed from Fidget Boy. Definitely a cool, fun little piece of gear. 
Next up, we have a titanium pry bar coming in from Wee Knives. Now, there are tons of different pry bars as well. You have standard ones like this. You have ones with bit drivers. You have ones with other different capabilities. And sometimes I like just the clean look and, you know, I don't need a bit driver at the time so this is a perfect candidate it's got a nice thin and slim profile made of titanium has a pocket clip has a spot for a lanyard which i need to get on there i do put lanyards on certain gear nice fly, uh, pry bar end here and it's got the spot so you can get into like a nail no this will not replace a full-size pry bar guys i would know uh, but in certain situations, these would definitely come in handy, you know, in emergency situations or just kind of milling around doing certain projects. This would definitely come in handy because you can keep it in your pocket or you can keep it in your new pouch. Uh, so they're, they're nice to have around. 50 bucks on Amazon right now. Sometimes White Mountain Knives has them in stock. And if you can get it for 50 plus using the G Ball 10 code, you know, that'll bring it down even more. This is for gearheads. You know, that's what these types of items are for. They're for people who are into gear, they're getting into gear, uh, or they just want to have a lot of function in their day to day life. Something like this. Is not for everyone, but there are a lot of people who find these very useful. So kind of in that same vein as a DIY guy at home, someone who does projects at home, or the lady who does projects at home, uh, if you're some sort of tradesman, a carpenter, that sort of thing, having a good utility knife that you can depend on is a must-have. Uh, anyone who does projects at home or is some sort of tradesman, you know how much you use a utility knife and having a well-made one that is also going to double as being very fun to use. Uh, the Milwaukee Fastback, you can usually get them between $20 and like $35.00. The more expensive is going to be like private mom and shop hardware type stores. You can usually get them online for like 25 bucks. Uh, you know, quick change for the utility blade, pocket clip, good FRN handle. You do have a lanyard hole there. You have like a wire stripper, seatbelt cutter area there. The only way to open this up is with the button and the only way to close it is with the button. So not only is it fun and useful, but it is that, it's that perfect piece of gear or that perfect item if you wanna piss coworkers off or piss your boss off, uh, piss someone at home off. You know, you can just stand there and do this. And after 30 seconds to a minute, you will definitely piss somebody off. I can almost guarantee it. Definitely a nice piece of gear and a nice piece of kit, utility. Definitely love the Milwaukee Fastback. Let's get to the next one. So this next item is for... If you're looking for someone who it likes hunting, they like the outdoors, they like hiking, bushcrafting, that sort of thing. This is the Ned Foss bushcrafting knife. You get D2 steel, a nice thick slab of it as well with some jimping, G10 handles, full tank construction. Uh, you do get a paracord lanyard loop there. You get a kydex like sheath. You get a tech lock style lock, which will lock this in very well. Works very good. The retention is awesome on these. They will not fall out of the, the sheath. And you also get a ferrocium rod included on the sheath along with a striker. It does work very good. I'm not going to do it on my mat there, but you can see I have used this some, tested it some, and we're still in the process of doing that. But these usually come in under 35 bucks, and for that, that is a great price for 
a very utilitarian fixed blade. It's not too big and it's not too small. If you have bigger hands, your hands will fit on this very nicely. And for under 35 bucks, that is a nice piece of gear. Uh, and it's well made, overbuilt to the max. Look at them layers of G10. Look at the thick steel spine, full tang, simple construction. Very well done from Ned Foss. Definitely a high recommend on my list. Next up, we have an EDC flashlight and could definitely double as like an in the house or around the house flashlight. This is the Bernight E18. Right now they're 48 bucks on sale, but they also have an additional coupon code. Uh, very nice light. I won't just turn it on and blast you with it, but I think these compete very well with like the Olight style of lights. I don't have a ton of experience with Bernite, but with this example, the quality is very good. Aluminum housing with this honeycomb type texturing. The pocket clip can be mounted up at the top or at the bottom. You have a magnetic base. USB-C for the charging, not standard USB, but USB-C quick charging. And you can also pocket it with the light up. You can switch it and pocket it down. And you can also put this on the brim of a hat or, you know, on a backpack, what have you, and clip it and shine the light so that way you can see in front of you hands-free. I like headlamps, but these definitely have a good place as well. Pretty light. It's not as light as some of your smaller, skinnier flashlights, for instance, the i3T from Olight, but you're not getting near as much power and light. So the bigger the light, the more powerful, of course, you're going to start stepping up in size. So this would be a nice EDC light if you're looking for something powerful or if your job requires something like that, or it'd be fantastic to put on your fridge and use it around the house. Bernite E18, I will have it linked down below and it has a charger indicator, three different lights, uh, several different modes plus SOS mode and it also has uh, the strobe feature as well. So there's like seven modes for this flashlight. Definitely a big fan of this light. Check them out. I will have them linked down below. Next up, we have an oldie but a goodie. This is the Gerber uh, Pry Bread. You get a utility blade and you can use quite a bit of it. Quick change feature and it also locks in place up here and about halfway. So depending on you know what you need or what you are trying to do, you have two locking, three locking positions if you include the closed. Seatbelt style cutter and wire style stripper here. And you also get the function of a bottle opener and you get your pry bar, which in my experience, this has worked pretty well. Uh, it works pretty good on nails and it works pretty good on just prying different materials. Now they claim these are slotted head screwdrivers, but on 70% of your slotted uh, screws and bolts, this is not going to work because they are too thick. Now, if it is in the upper 30%, the bigger slotted headed screws, these will work. Uh, but what I have found is on your everyday smaller headed slotted screws, these will not work. So in, in some cases they will, in some cases they won't. Typically you can get these for like 25 bucks. Uh, probably going to range between 20 and 30 right around in there, but it's a nice little piece of gear. I wish I had a pocket clip, but I found a good home for a couple of these and the smaller one, the Prybrid X. 
in different bags, different pouches. I keep one of each in my truck. So I do like these quite a bit and have a couple of each. Let's get to the next one, the Migaron Moyero. This will be the last cutting object here. If you're looking for just a pure, good, everyday carry style of knife with really no flashiness to it and a good price to reflect on the knife and it's got good materials, 14C28N, which is very tough, very corrosion resistant, and it holds a good edge. You have a nice drop point blade, which this blade shape will do a lot of things very well. You have the tear drop cutout, which works very good for the thumb flick, works very good for the reverse flick, the slow roll, two-handed opening, you know, so this is a knife for even people who have weaker hands or just their hands are not as agile as they once were. G10 handles, they have a bunch of different flavors of these knives. You have a white G10 backspacer and you have a milled titanium clip all coming in under 50 bucks. This is a fantastic value. Uh, Migron's been killing it all year, even into last year at the end of the year. Migron is definitely a good company, putting out great products at a fantastic price. Definitely recommend checking out the Migron Moyero if you have not. Next up, we have the Casio G-Shock. Now, this is one of their basic models. It's something that I just recently got, so I don't know all the features of this night or of this watch, but it has a comfortable, adjustable band, easy to put on, easy to take off. Uh, it's got a bunch of different capabilities. You can put the clock at 12 or 24, so military time or standard time. You have the date and the day up top there, and it can be adjusted and changed to, you know, show different things. It also has a nice uh, feature for uh, like a timer and a couple other various features. Like I said, I'm still trying to learn. And another cool thing is it has the backlight to it, which I really, really like. I wanted something. You know, I have some more, some semi-expensive watches, and I don't like wearing those at certain times because sometimes they're a little bulky or a little heavy, or I don't want to get them ruined at work or something like that. So I got this. These are usually right around 50 bucks, and to get a rugged, good digital watch, for like 50 bucks that has the backlight that has the timer and a couple other additional features for like 50 bucks i think that is a solid deal like i said it has the adjustable band so you'll be able to fit pretty much any wrist out there nice and rugged uh, i've actually smashed the screen off some stuff already and it did no damage whatsoever That'll do it for this one, guys. I hope that helps somebody out there. Hit the thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you want to see on the next gift guide idea video. Let me know what you're carrying. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel down below or click the G-Ball Vision logo coming up on the center of your screen. Uh, I'd love to have you here. I hope everyone had a good holiday and I hope everyone has a safe month of December going into Christmas and the new year. I love all you guys. Thanks for watching and I will catch you on the next one.